Hey there, it's Mark. I'm going to do 2021 LRA and hello. Yep. Hey there, it's Mark. 2021 L, here we go. You probably already found these cars in the stores, so I'm going to kind of do this faster. A lot of people probably already seen the stores. Race Grooves TV, you probably already seen me unbox these, or if you didn't, that's on Race Grooves TV. I have this video coming up on Race Grooves TV this weekend. I've been uh, also Track Time Channel. I have been re-editing my Track Time videos, and I've been trying to get at least two done a week. And then hopefully, as soon as possible, I can start doing new videos. Right at the moment, I'm still taking care of the kids, so, so they're kind of uh, taking charge of the the room. Well, I know I got the basic treasure. In. I can see it right here. This car right here might be the Super. Uh, because it's the 68 Cooper. Here's a new model right here. Let's see if we can get to them in the oval in uh, race team graphics. There you have the loco motor in. I like having that car, I mean train, whatever you want to call it, model. I like having that model in the lineup and it looks good as an X-Racer see-through body. Here you have the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. Very nice color. Oh yeah, it's 91 degrees outside, so I'm running the air conditioner. Most of the time, I will turn off the air, just so you know you get the best audio quality as possible. But with it being 91 outside, I'm running the air conditioner. I'm sure you can understand. Geo Terra. There's the new model. Water Bomber. 2019 Kia Stinger GT. Let's take a look at this uh, new model right here. We're going to take a look at the back. Of course, uh, you know, the English, USA English packages. We get this little info bubble on the back. And now let's go ahead and take a close look at the model. You know what? I, I found this in the store. I didn't buy it because since I know I'm going to get it in the case, but I've seen like the wheels underneath. I, I don't think, even with like Mad Props, it'll have wheels. I don't know if... Uh, I don't think it has wheels. I think it's just like plastic things to slide on. Yep. I don't, uh, I don't see any wheels. I was looking for the base code while I'm here. P12. Hey, P12. Isn't that an airplane? P12. So that's the base code. Production code. Fun stuff. They can include it in five pack. Well, I don't know. With its odd shape, it's going to have to be packed like this. Can't pack it sideways. It's so wide. Let's go ahead and move on. Make sure I don't lose the uh, blister pack so I can put it back in. Chevy Silverado off-road. Another thing with those wider models is that they don't fit in the jammers the, or normal jammers plastic cases. So it's going to have to be put in something else. 17 Nissan, 17 Nissan GTR R35. And this is the 85 Chevrolet Camaro I Rock Z or Z. This was in the last case. And that's the other thing about doing the case unboxing videos. I don't, it's hard to remember which one's new, which ones are carryovers, or did I see it in, in, in the stores? And then I'm thinking, well, was that in the last case? Or did I just see it in the store? Muscle and Blown, this was a new model in the last case. So it, I know that's a carryover. I'll be honest, this showed up at uh, Dollar Tree. I picked me up an extra. There was actually two. But one of them had pretty poor graphics. What happened? It looked like somebody's fingerprint held the side of the car and the paint wasn't dry. So I picked up the good one or the better one. Ford GT. It's my favorite car to collect. That's my favorite licensed car to collect. You might know my favorite fantasy model to collect, which is why I had to buy this. You'll have to see that on Race Grooves TV. This weekend, I'm scheduling it to publish... I forget, Friday, Saturday, Subaru, WRX, STI. No taillight decorations. There you have the Ragin Express. Try to hold it calm so that you can possibly see the graphics. Because some people like to get detail in the graphics. So there's two. Uh, this is not the first issue. This is the second color. If you missed the last case, Here's a quick peek at Messelin Blown that was on the back. Raging Express was earlier this year, but if you'd like to see that, you can pause it because we're moving on. 
By the way, the kittens are running around, so uh, we might get interrupted. I've seen this too in the store, and I thought, man, that wait till you see this color. Sweet color, great car. And I thought, you know what? I should get it in the case, so I let it go. I don't mind having a couple extra from the cases, but I don't necessarily have to buy more than that. Not for this car. The Ford GT40, yeah, I bought. I, I did buy that one. It's my favorite car. And that, uh, that uh, see the mixed wheels? It's supposed to be like that. You can see that in the picture. I found that in the store as well. Loopster. I got the hand up version in the back. It's not rare. Okay, hands up, hands down. Either, either one. Uh, probably produced in the same quantities. Volkswagen Beetle. Here we have the 17 Nissan GTR. We just had that, I think, right? But just in case, we'll go through it slow. 20 Jeep Gladiator with the motorcycles in the back. What else? Do we Here's a new model. LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2 Mattel HWJ Imports. There you go. New model, first appearance in this case. Not going to go through the boosters. And yeah, I'm still going to be doing track time, but uh, I no suggestions. I have to pick the cars myself. Can't do shout outs. And some people are saying, well, why don't you do the shout outs on Facebook? Uh, it's the law. I can't give shout outs because I can't tell how old people are. I can't verify your age. So I got to protect myself. I got to protect the channel. And I got to do what I think is legally proper. Surf and school bus. Because if I lose my channel, people won't care. They'll go watch somebody else. Corvette C8.R. Right? That's how it is. You know, I mentioned people, you know, you can support on Patreon. And whoo-hoo, uh, like a dozen people. So, you know, uh, I get it. So I have to look out for myself. That's just the way it is. Second one? Yeah, second one. I was wondering if it was the third. 2Jet Z. I love this car. It's from the Hot Wheels uh, Tour. Mm -hmm. Legends Tour, that is uh, some guy's design. He created that car and they made it into a Hot Wheel. We already looked at the Speed Tail. Aero Pod. Uh, that's, look at that blister, it's all fuzzy. Uh, look, look how, wait, it does it have two? Sometimes that happens. It's all, it's all foggy. That's not, that's not me. Very interesting. Uh, I don't know when I've seen that before. Not a long time, if ever. Anyways, Aeropod, like the model. I think it has great play value. Uh, I don't, I don't recall if I've opened one up yet. And here's that green car that was going to be the uh, treasure, super treasure in the case. I just got the regular version. The super version will have met metallic green paint. It'll have rubber tires. It should have a gold circle flame logo behind the car over here. It won't have a uh, circle flame logo on the car mm, it probably has a th i'm not sure where that th is here is disney mickey mouse new model new for 2021 first appearance people are hogging this up i see people on instagram they'll show pictures and, and they have a whole roll of them they bought them all and it's like well you know they found it they can buy it disney steamboat made in malaysia so anyways, that's how, that's how, it doesn't have wheels, it has this like a turning turnstile on the bottom. And then I assume when you roll this, that's going to make this turn. It's a, a steamboat, do they call it? Yeah, Disney steamboat. So I got one for me. Uh, it, my kids, they love Disney. So if I find a couple extra, I would buy a couple extra for my kids. And if I, I would get a couple for myself as well, uh, I don't need 20 of them. It's a plastic model. Well, how much of it is plastic? There's the P12 again. Uh, that part looks plastic. I'm guessing that this part up here is metal. The white part right here is metal, and everything else is plastic. That's plastic, 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 plastic. That's my guess. Oh, did I show you the back? I don't think I did. Three, two, one. Oh, look, they tell you right there. Of course, we know that that turns. I mean, it looks obvious that. That, that turns but do you turn it like this or you turn it like this treasure hunt no 
HW450F. Was this the treasure hunt earlier in the year? A basic treasure hunt. I know it was a motorcycle like that. Custom Ford Bronco. Here we have the Porsche Taken. Taken. I'm not sure. Turbo S. Well, oh, nice and classy. Looking nice. Nice color. Got yourself some headlight decorations. Looks like it does have an emblem right there. And of course, license models tend to have printing on the tail end, especially if it doesn't have anything on the side. And the last three, there's another 85 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. There you have Ollie Rocket and 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Very nice. Great graphics. I'm telling getting a lot of licensed graphics lately. And yes, we're not even going to play around. Because all you got to do is look like that. And there's, there's a Circle Flame logo right there. Got it right there. So yeah, this is the basic treasure hunt for the L case. And if it's in the case, it's not in every case. If it is, what you get one. So pretty cool. I like this model and it has a good story to where... Mattel worked with a, a child. I believe the child was uh, had an ailment. His name was Ollie, I believe. Hence, they call it Ollie Rocket. And that's how that car came to be. Pretty cool story. Robo race, robo car. Hey, real quick. These two cars right here, check it out. They have H case codes on the back. H case. And here's that uh, Mario Kart, right? So uh, here's, see, L, so H, skip I, J, K, L. This code's uh, three codes ago, which would be like, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 weeks. It's a little strange, but look, they have this uh, sticker on here. Um, none of the other ones. I didn't notice any stickers on the other ones, but the base code, the base code's proper for the model. You can see P12 right here. P12. I don't know if I can get in there. There you go. So P12. If I get too close, it's going to lose focus. But uh, yeah, the base code is proper. P12. Well, I don't even know where it is on this one. P12. And, uh, you know, there was a couple cars that had P11. It's hard to see, right? It's down here. Anyways, there was a, at least a one car had P11. It just happens. Remember, this is upside down. Jeez Louise, uh, this is P12. Anyways, both of these have the proper base codes, but uh, I don't know why they wind up with the H case for the card. Another Subaru WRX STI. E, nothing in the rear. Here we have the Batmobile, debuted last month, last case. I, I shouldn't say month. Because they come out about every four weeks, not uh, every 30 days. Anyways, pretty cool car. I have not seen this one on the peg, so people must be liking it. Or at least it has sufficient uh, resale value to where people are picking it up. I don't know. And someone, when I showed it in the last case, somebody asked, does it have the, uh, the, um, does it, does it have the uh, uh, brake light in the, uh, in the rear? Oh, yeah. Since it was a new model in the last case, if case you didn't see that, someone asked if it has the uh, brake lights, and there's of course your brake lights, but it also has one right here, just like most cars, so you do get that extra print. This car, when I see it on the pegs, I look at it real quick, and it's like, oh, Ford GT. Uh, no, welcome back, Impavido One. It's been a while. I don't know when the last one was. I do remember that uh, there was a Guardians of the Galaxy version. It was in a playset. And uh, Rocket Raccoon was sitting right here in the window. They printed the window with Rocket Raccoon. Here you have the Dodge Charger Drift. Police version. Has a light bar on top. Can you see it? There you go. And HW Rapid Responder. All plastic body. Big heavy metal base. I just noticed the batteries in my recorder are low, so I just changed the batteries. 
Hopefully I did get the audio from the first part. If it sounded bad, sorry about that. I might have to use the audio from the mic. Mod Rod, Twinning and Winning. That's a lot of ends and it's a lot of apostrophes. This might be the record for the most apostrophes. And then what was that other card that we passed? Might be the uh, now the longest, longest name. Uh, I don't I don't keep track of trivia anymore. Not like this. That might be the longest name for a card now, at least in a basic single pack. This is one where I would like to get extras. You have new for 2021. You have the standard cart, of course, for Mario Kart. And there's a look at it. There's no character. So they already have the Mario Kart character cars. Here you have the description on the back. I happen to have these open up on the side. And i just do a quick check. Uh, it, it definitely looks shaped differently right here. See this white, all that white part is plastic. It's not hollow. Uh, whereas you can see right here where the feet would go, you can see that it has an indentation so that the feet and the pedals can go underneath. But not in the basic version. And not only that, uh, they didn't make it a write-on. There's, there would have been the perfect opportunity to make it a write-on, but maybe they didn't want to have uh, it conflict with some type of uh, Mario license. I'm not sure. It appears to be about the same size. Uh, missed opportunity to make it a write-on for your figures. Uh, I can almost, I would, I would, I would wager that. They did not want to make it a write-on. Local mortar in. Because why why make it a write-on for a dollar when they can make you buy these for five dollars? I'm just saying. Another local mortar. In. There you have Carde Asada. Yummers. There you go. All the seasonings. I'm surprised. You know, Pluto was up here on the table a minute ago when I changed the batteries and then he left. Good. Custom 70, Honda N600. I already know. I've seen the recolor. There's going to be another color. I like that other color coming up better, personally. This one's kind of a uh, creamy, kind of bland. I'm just, I'm just saying, right? It just seems bland. The other color's a little more exciting. Pile. Speed driver. And it took me a long time to understand what this was for. And you know, you know those bits that you can use for screwdrivers. You replace the bits, the little metal thing. I don't, I don't think I have one handy. But you can take that bit, and then it has a little place where you to store your, your little bits. So it's hard to see. Anyways, I don't know how many kids are playing around with screwdrivers, but hey, what do I know? Another car de asada. There's the Formula Gen Two car. Tag where Weber where Porsche edition Porsche edition oh there it is maybe that one's the longest name Dodge Charger stock car and look I've been collecting over 20 years started in I count 1998 as my first year here's the new model nope was it new earlier no 2018 Bentley Continental GT3 so now I'm in my 23rd year and it's just like information overload. Now, if, if I just focus on Hot Wheels, then that's one thing, you know, but I got other stuff going on as well. So some of the information is getting harder to remember. Another Honda 2020 Koenig, Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg Jesko in white. Mm, look better than the silver color. Yeah, the silver color, for some reason, it looked kind of cheesy. This looks pretty good. Nice presentation. But I don't think, for some reason, I don't think people really care for the car too much. 2017 Camaro ZL1. Here we have another Ford GT40. Quick glance. I won't burn you. Toyota Land Cruiser. Toyota Land Cruiser. That's what I said, right? I hope so. All of a sudden, my brain was saying, that's not what you said. Another water bomber, new model. And I don't I should have showed you the back, but just in case. And I do it fast. So this way, you know, don't bug you too much. Mod rod. We take a quick peek just to make sure the graphics are there. Two Jet Z. 
because they call them naked errors to where you're missing a graphic. Those are pretty cool errors. Especially if I got it straight out of a case, you know I didn't fake it. There's another Disney Steamboat. Yeah, 67 Ford GT40. Mark, Mark, Ford. I had to do my Roman numerals real fast. Love this one too. I like the red one better, and I'll show you why in just a second. Volkswagen Beetle. Because the red one, the color for the red plastic was pretty similar to the red for the body. But you see the base is plastic, right? So this part right here is yellow. And when you see it in person, and you probably can see right here, it's a different kind of yellow. So it makes it obvious that it's a separate part. Pluto's back. Pluto's tugging on my microphone cable hanging down. Oh yeah, beautiful color. Glad to have a couple. If you like this car, I would not be surprised if you picked up a couple off of the pegs yourself. There's the Honda, 1985 Honda CRX. 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. This one looks good, really good. The colors just pop. Those stripes look very nice. Glad to have it. Love it with those retro slot wheels. Yep, very nice release. Oh, look, look on the bottom. Hot Wheels ID. Hi, Pluto. Hey, Pluto, you come to check out the uh, the, the car? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Here you go. Love it. I love the Spectre Flame paint on it. Uh, I do not like that they do not have the Hot Wheels ID wheels. So, hey, Pluto, don't close the monitor because you're going to shut off the video. Uh, let's finish up. Two cars left. Pluto, go in the box. There you go. <laughs> 2020 Koenigsegg Jesco. It's white, just like you know who. Hello. Hello, Pluto. And here's that loom model from last case. Muscle and blown. Thank you for checking out my video. I will have a couple of videos scheduled this weekend on my other channels. Track time I am re-editing to be COPPA compliant. And <laughs> this, this video right here, this video took me days. Uh, never mind. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.